Hi everybody, it's the Irish Scrapper back with another tutorial. Um, I have been fortunate enough to have time on my hands today, so I've been playing inside my craft room and um, I thought I'd have a go at seeing what we could use as stencils and what we could use as kind of um, textured paste and what have you, paste rather. So I decided I'd try some PVA glue and see how that worked. So let me show you what I did. I poured a very small amount of very inexpensive, supposedly um, industrial PVA glue, which I bought for one forty-nine. So you can see there's a small amount here, and I thought, okay, it'll be white, and but what else can I do with it? And I've got loads of product, I'm sure, like the rest of you sitting around. So I've got um, Perlex, Perfect Pearls, the whole lot. Now, the Perfect Pearls just needs a misting to set it. Perlex needs a binder. So I decided I'd put a little bit of Perlex into the PVA glue. Just a small amount. I'm taking an old card and um, I'm just going to mix it in. And what this is doing is it's putting a little bit of colour to the PVA glue, but it's also putting an iridescence to the glue. So just mix it thoroughly and I'm using one of my acrylic blocks that as you can see has been well used. Okay so this is a pale colour if you use less glue you'd have a stronger colour and if you use more perlex obviously you'd have a stronger colour also. So take your time to mix it well. Now, um, Maura in the Crafty Corner here in Limerick gave me rolls of this stuff um, back at Christmas because I work with children and she thought, well, maybe the children could use this. And believe me, Maura, they've had great fun and it goes on forever and ever and ever. But what I've been using it for with the children and of course here in my own um, craft studio is as a stencil. So I'm going to just put it down here. Now I did start off by taping it but there's no need to tape it really. So I'm just going to pick some up on the credit card and simply swipe it across. I'm just doing a little bit. I'm going to lift it off and you can see that it's like a stencil. Now I'm also going to do it, I'm going to add another little bit of colour to that mix just to make the colour a little bit stronger. And you really do need to mix the powder in. And now I'm going to take that and put my little bit of stencil down on some brown cardstock so that you can see the difference. And I'm going to put some down here. This is fabulous if you're into art journaling or um, scrapbooking and you want to texture background. So again, you can see we have the stenciled effect. Now I'm going to do it on some black. And these are just all scraps of paper that I've lying around that I'm using for this demo. So it's literally the cheapest PVA glue and a little bit of product that's lying around my craft room. And again, you can see it's very good on the black. So it works on all the colour color types. I'm going to try it on white now. That's it on white. Now I'm also going to try a different stencil. This is the die cut I have. And 
oh, there's bits here that need to be poked out. Anyway, I'll use this end where they've all been poked and just to use up what's left of the mixture. I'll simply run it across here to show you that you can actually use your die cuts as stencils. And even distress um, stencils if you want. That one wouldn't be my favourite now, but however I didn't take my time. So you can see that you can use PVA glue with whatever product that you have about. Another one that I put into the mix this evening was Liquid Pearls. I have it in every colour. Find I never really use it. So trying to use it up, I put it into the PVA glue. And I'm now going to show you a couple of samples that I did earlier that have dried. So this was the same um, Pearlex that I mixed with the glue, slightly stronger colour. And you can see when it dries, it's very flexible. It doesn't crack. You can see the lovely iridescence of the Perlex. This was the positive of the of this stencil. And then I turned it over and what was left on the back, that was the negative. You can see it again here. This is what it looks like on the black. I think it looks really cool on the black. Very shiny. And again, it doesn't crack. It's very flexible. This is it on the brown, and you see I'm just using up scraps. Doesn't crack, and lovely iridescence. And finally, this is the one that I put the little bit of liquid pearls into, and it's on brown cardstock, and it actually gave like nearly a silver hue to this side. And this was just purely the PVA with nothing added to it at all. And on a dark cardstock, you can see it does add texture and even shine. So um, that was my experiment for today, and I'm very pleased with it. This was the only disaster, really. Um, but, however, you have to you have to have some little bit of spirit and forge on. What I do want to mention um, in this tutorial is today I'm very very excited because. I received a gift from my sister who lives in the state, she lives in Florida, of this young lady who I have been following. Her name is Kira and the products are Crafts by Kira. And I have to say, I've been very impressed watching all the products that she's developed. Now this young lady had a car accident come back several years ago and so it means that she can't really go into work full time, but she hasn't sat under it. She has developed this fantastic line of, of um, homemade products. Her soaps are so varied. They're for men, for moustaches, lip balms, um, for ladies, even for your pets and what have you. And she uses really high quality products. And I, I just wish you could smell you, you could smell these soaps. They are absolutely tantalizing to the senses. They look both beautifully and they smell absolutely divine. So what I'm saying is to any of my um, viewers in America, if you're wanting to support crafting and you're wanting to support small home industry, then I say give this lady a try. You'll find her on um, Facebook and Twitter. It's Crafts by Kira Homemade Soaps. Oh my goodness, they are just absolutely. The feel, the smell. I'm reading what goes into it. She has really top quality product in, in these soaps. And they are, you can tell by looking at them, they're homemade. So let's try and support each other. If you're in the States and you're looking for a specialised gift for somebody, please try Crafts by Kira. They're very inexpensive when you think of what the, the, the um, effort and the research and the product development that's gone into it. They're very affordable. She does tester size and full size. 
So let's try and support her. That's Crafts by Kira, and it's the Irish Grapper saying, Tune in again real soon for my next tutorial.